Rocket Girls Galaxy Squad Adventure, Chapter 18, A Visit Home. Now even Dr. Odd looked worried. Rocket Girl, do you know anyone who can help us? He asked. Roxy tapped her chin. I think I do. She looked at Wukong and Coslin. Let's go to Earth! Roxy opened her front door. I'm home! Roxy! Her mom said. I got your message. Are you done with your space mission? Not yet, Roxy said. These are my friends, Kid Comet and Sun Wukong. Bippo climbed onto Roxy's head. Bippo! Me! Oh, right. <laughs> Roxy chuckled. That's Bippo. Coslin smiled. Hello, Roxy's mom. I'm from Delcor. Wukong stepped forward. If you need me to fight any demons, let me know. Um, thanks, Roxy's mom said. Would anyone like a snack? <laughs> Coslin and Wukong followed her into the kitchen. Roxy opened her watch. Rocket Girl, Mayor Bloom said. Is everything okay? Yep. Roxy said. Can you tell me how to find Professor Ditto? I need someone who's an expert with computers and robots. Oh, I guess you didn't hear, Mayor Bloom said. Remember when you saw the real Professor Ditto? Yes, Roxy said. He retired from Metro City University. Well, he was also a robot, Mayor Bloom said. There is no real Professor Ditto. They were all robots. Roxy was shocked. She said goodbye to Mayor Bloom and called Dr. Odd. I was hoping to find Professor Ditto, Roxy said. <sighs> He's an expert with computers and robots, but I just found out that... You were looking for Professor Ditto? Dr. Odd laughed. <laughs> you should have told me before you went to Earth. He wasn't a real person. I invented him. He was one of my robots. Roxy was now even more shocked. What? It was an experiment, Dr. Odd said. I wanted to make a robot that could grow old. It worked. Ugh, Roxy said. I don't know any other computer or robot experts. We don't need an expert, Dr. Odd said. We just need someone who can get to the computer. The person just has to type in a code and press a few buttons. Ah! The tiger! Roxy's mom suddenly screamed. I have to go! Roxy closed her watch and ran into the kitchen. Her mom was back to do a corner. A huge tiger sat in front of her. It quickly transformed into Wukong. Sorry. The monkey said. I was telling Kid Comet about a tiger demon I once fought. She asked what a tiger was, so I showed her. He looked around. Where did she go? Shloop! Coslin stepped through the wall. Ah! Roxy's mom screamed again. Here I am! Coslin said. You scared me, Wukong! Bippo pointed at Roxy's mom. Roxy sighed and took her friends outside. Then she told them about Professor Ditto. Don't worry, Roxy said. I have one more person I can call. Jack yawned. This Mighty Man episode is boring. Mara nodded. It stinks. Jack, Mara, and Terrell were watching TV at Jack's house. Terrell's phone beeped. I'll be right back. He went into the kitchen. Roxy? He whispered. 
He listened for a moment as Roxy talked. His eyes went wide. Then his jaw dropped open. Don't worry, I'm on my way. Excellent! <laughs> 